So basically when you're drop shotting, what we're looking to do is basically mimic a dead or dying shad. In this case with that hammer shad, we're just letting the rod do the work. So we're holding it steady and we're letting it bump along. And in this area with the sand and the little mixed pebbles and rock and a little bit of weed, every time that drop shot weight snags those things, it'll actually load up the rod and when it pops free, the bait will come up and naturally glide to the bottom like a dying fish. So it's a really simple technique and all you need is a bit of patience and the right area and it can be a lights out day. There's one right there. Oh. Whoa. Nice fish. Yeah, good looking fish here. There we go. Nice chunky smallmouth on that hammer shad. You know, you really can't get much better than this. We're out here and we are absolutely beating them down on the drop shot rig. And it's so much fun. And again, that hook is just exactly where you want it. In this case, right in the corner of the mouth. Pull that out. Great looking fish, fat, feeding on shad. And they are making this day so much fun. We'll get this one back in the water. As always, we talk about having the proper rod, reel, and line set up so you can be really effective at this technique, and today is no different. Today I'm using the G Loomis NRX 852S, and it's basically a seven foot one rod, and it's medium power, it's got extra fast action. And that extra fast really helps allowing the fish to take the bait and you to get it home and impart a lot of action. For a reel, I've got a Stratic MG3000. So basically this reel here will hold 170 yards of eight pound test and I've got the big fighting paddle handle and it's got a great drag which is super important when you're drop shotting. For line, I've got a seven pound test fluorocarbon main line. This line is great for drop shotting. Anything from six to eight pound test is usually where I try to stay. Today I actually split the uprights and went right to the seven. This setup right here is a perfect combination for drop shotting smallmouth and getting that fine wire hook into their face. Now when it comes to the bait that we're using, today we're using the Power Team Lures JP Hammer Shad and I'm gonna show you how to rig it. What I've got here is a one-aught Eagle Claw Wacky Rig Hook. And the bait, what you're gonna do is, you can rig it two ways. You can either put it right through the bottom and out through the top and rig it like that. Or the way I like to rig it is I'll actually go through the nose and come out in between the eyes about a quarter of an inch behind them. And I'll slide it up the shank. So that bait's gonna sit like that. Any movement I put is gonna translate right into the mid body of this bait, because it quivers like crazy. And for a lead, I'm using anywhere from 14 to 16 inches of line down to a quarter ounce drop shot weight. It's a very simple setup, very easy to use, and very effective. To order WFN, contact your TV service provider today. WFN, it's a great day for fishing.